fuck, what's Ecotes? Uh, Ecotes, let's say. Yeah, yeah. yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. I have work to do now uh, to speak Zulu. Ziakala, <laughs> <laughs> man. Ziakala, man. <laughs> Ukraine. Yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. Aujourd'hui, j'ai le plaisir de vous présenter Bonko. Um, Bonko, comment tu vas? Uh, ça va très bien, merci. Et toi? Merci, ça va super bien. Yeah, Bonko, so, Bonko, merci beaucoup. So, Bonko uh, est un DJ très talentueux, mais aussi quelqu'un qui produit beaucoup de musique. Et aujourd'hui, il va nous en dire un peu plus. So, you are a music producer, a DJ. Yeah. You have a different talents. Yes. So, can you introduce you a bit and tell us what you are doing now? Um, so I'm a DJ producer from uh, Johannesburg. Um, Jabete, uh, Johannesburg, <laughs> Yeah, Africa. To, yeah, just trying to spice it up a little bit. Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, man. I'm a lover of music. Uh, you know, I like to connect with people. Mm. You know, on a different level. Could be through my music and through like meeting. You know, people. Since we like DJs, you know, we travel around the globe and. You meet people from different cultures. Yeah, it's what is crazy now is yeah. that uh, now you are really playing gigs international. Yeah. So, in what's your favorite country for now where you had a gig? Um, I think my favorite country. It's very hard to tell, man, because every country there's something amazing about it. Different. Yeah, you different. know. I mean, um, like your home country, Switzerland. Mm. Yeah. Hey, man, everything <laughs> in Switzerland is premium from the food. Yeah. The yep. food in Switzerland is amazing, you know, uh, beautiful people, friendly people. So where did you play in Switzerland? Uh, Le Baroque. Le Baroque in Geneva. In Geneva. In Geneva. Yeah, quite yep. an amazing sp spot with uh, alongside Semi Fair, you know, mm, Semi Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and yeah, man, I like Switzerland. I mean, I've never experienced that that kind of like life, you know. Mm. It's like very premium, yeah, but you it's know. It's crazy for that. Yeah. Me, it's the opposite. I like to go in other country where it's more like. Uh, Yeah, it's more cultural, it's intense, and uh, yeah. in Switzerland it's more about, you know, being secure, all these things. Yeah, I agree and with sometimes you. it's good when you are an artist to go out of your comfort, comfort zone. Comfort zone, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I mean, for us also, it's uh, we're coming from our comfort zone, you mm. know, in a, because I feel like uh, in, in South Africa we have, we have certain, um, we have a culture as well, you know, as, as sure. people as well, and, and sometimes when you leave outside i mean when you leave your country to go to another place yeah. from the language from how people conduct uh, yeah <laughs> yo it's, yo it's, it's different it's different you know True. and and the, and the mindset as well mm. you know it kind of like opens up unlocks a certain level of uh, basic, basically of, i mean exposure mm. yeah that's so and did you start first with the production or more the djing part um so or the story the is um I started off as a dancer actually. Yo, nice. Yeah, I used to like dance like uh, have you heard of Bansula? Uh a bit. Bansula is like um it's like the street yeah. dance, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, the yeah. South African yeah. like, I saw like this typical, before. you know, Yo, you, I like that. Yeah, you know, like with the footwork yeah. And, yeah. and stuff. So like um I was doing my last grade in of high school mm. yeah, and then I used to I fell in love with the dancing. Yeah, you know, I understand with the, with the dance. And in the street, that's powerful here. There is a lot yeah, of place you powerful. walk. There is a percussionist. There is this, yeah. this. It's like uh, it's part of our culture. Yeah, yeah. so it's very inspirational. So yeah, man. But it's just that I, I, I couldn't see myself beyond. Um, I, I just felt connected to music beyond just dancing, mm. you know. And then it kind of like led me into music production through like being around friends that yeah. make music. So one of the guys that used to make music at that time was uh, Sunshine, okay. who was Cuba's friend. Yeah. And then I met Cuba by this way. Yeah, by the, by, I mean, I mean through Sunshine, yeah. you know. And this is like, I'm talking about 10 years ago. Wow. 10, 12 years ago. Crazy. And then at that time, at that point, uh, I was just, I had the idea that I want to be a music producer. And then I just started working because it's a long process. Yeah, but before before I even started producing, I used to hang around with yeah producers. With, so you with know producers a bit, you DJ. Can see. I used to party a lot. Mm. I used to attend parties. Nope. Um, I used to skip class in my varsity <laughs> to go to to to, to Soul Candy, which yeah. is like a music institute yeah, yeah, yeah. for like DJs and, and producers. Yeah. And then 
that's when I would meet people. So so many people don't recall, so many people don't remember me actually. Mm. But I was that guy that uh, always there, always there, there around, the yeah, in the background, you know, and yeah. and yeah, I man, that's just how I started. And then I started off with production, mm. and then the DJing came more or less after, but yeah. it came after. Yeah. And then like I had a friend, um, I learned I learned a bit of basics from a friend called Penis. Okay. and uh, sunshine a bit and yeah man and then i took it from there yeah. yes. because it's what i understand now too is like it's nice to produce music but you have to show your music and yeah, being a dj is a really good way to try to test your music in front sure. of the crowd and yeah man it's definitely a good experience i think and uh, something dope and so I just I saw that you released an EP with uh, Brandon, yeah, Brandon uh, Praise. Yeah, with Sonny. Yeah, with Sonny, and uh, yo, I heard a lot of time. Um, Love is in the air. I like this song too much, and I Thanks, invite man. the people to listen to this song. It's mm -hmm. a, wow, it amazing, cool. amazing. Merci. And so now you just released this EP. Can you tell us a bit more about this EP? Um, how did you? Start the CP, what was a bit the purpose, your mindset behind this? Uh, so me and Brandon have been like, we were like, we're like cool friends, just like me and you. Yeah. Uh, so we're like cool friends. And then um, I was introduced to Brandon uh, by Meta from Black Motion. Okay. And then during lockdown, we made a song actually, Circles. Do you remember Circles yeah. by any chance? Yeah. Yeah, dropped under Connected. So uh, my relationship with Brandon started there, you know, like the musical side of things. I understood, I kind of understand yeah. what he likes. He also understands what I like, you know. That's cool. And so, it's beyond the music. We we like it's like a brotherly yeah, yeah. vibe, you yeah. know. And and so <clears throat> this year was like a year was like you know what, um, we need to do an EP, a joint EP together. And um, yeah, man. And then he he's been working on different ideas, and then. Um, he, he hit me up at some point, I think late last year. Okay. He's like, um, I think um, we should drop something. That's so cool. Follow uh, in 2022. This yeah. is 2021 last year. Yeah. And then, yeah, man. And then we worked on a couple of songs that we never dropped. Yeah, it's normal. It's <laughs> yeah, the yeah it's, it's very it's normal. normal. And then this year, I was just at his studio. I mean, earlier this year, in, in studio at his house, you know. Mm. And then ideas started just flowing, you know. Mm. Like um, Misawa, Misawa was our first project. Yeah, yeah. yeah. crazy. And then we did Misawa, and um, it's crazy. It has that Osama feel in it, you know. Yeah. Also. But it's, and then and then and then and then he had not. Um, he wasn't influenced by Osama. But mm. the craziest thing is the way he's a, he was approaching the the song, you know. Mm. It, it had this worldly feel. You but know? something is like yeah, deep energy or something yeah. powerful that you you don't know where it comes from. But mm. yeah, I, and I it's, a, it's a very meaningful song, you know. And yeah. um, um, uh, basically, what what he's saying in in, in the Sava, mm. it's uh, things that matter, like yeah. not ma not materialistic things, mm. but love, nature, True. just breathing, yeah. you know, more like, like your environment, or, or exactly things like that. So that was the first song, yeah. And then the second song was "Lovers in the Air." Wow. Yes. And you know, with "Lovers in the Air," he played me um, a loop, a, a loop of the song. Yeah. It was just chords and the vocal. Yeah. And then I started looping, start build on yeah, building up from there, from there, from there. And then it's like, wait a minute, I think I, I think you're onto something. I, li I, li I like what you're doing. And then from there, man, we built. The song was probably done in like 30 minutes, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like that, right. and it just go out. It's yeah, not... man. And then we 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 jam the whole night. It's like yo, I can't believe it. And started chopping, Dope. and then I left. And then yeah, man. And then we had two tracks. And then now we're like, okay, cool. I think mm. we're ready. And then yeah, we just send it to Sony. That's so. Then the guys liked it. The part, the body track. They're like, yeah, we're gonna drop it. You're ready. That's Boom. Beautiful. And I have uh, another question about that. It's like, um, can you give an advice to people and even artists who are listening to us about being surrounded by 
positive people, good energy or something like that. Oh, as an artist, it's important to be surrounded by other people, other musicians, for you. Um, uh, it's very important to be around people that appreciate you as a person. Mm. Yeah, I think um, it's just a life lesson. True. You should be around people that you can learn from. Uh, good intentions uh, uh, and great energy. True. People that support you mm. and that you must also support their hustle mm. too. True. You know, and um, it's very important yeah. because if you're around people that don't value you, mm. respect you, no, don't no, even no. Um, want to empower you or even plug you. I don't necessarily believe in the word plug. But it's basically uh, sharing and empowering. Connection. Yeah. Connection. You have something that I know. Mm. You have something that I don't know. I mm. have something that you, True. True. that you don't know. So it's a matter of sharing and empowering each other. Yeah. So I think it's important. Mm. And yeah. Yeah, and it's something. I, I ask you this question too because uh, I had done an interview like this with Cuba too, and you are working with Cuba too. And yes. it's to say like, Yo, sometimes it's so important to have resources and people who understand your process but understand too the goals that you want to achieve because it's not easy sure. uh, in this music industry to go through all the steps that you have to go to have a final product at the end. That's true, that's true. So, yes. I mean, every person serves, uh, serves a goal yeah, in, your, in, your, in, in your life. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's the people that surround you that, you know, that just inspire you know, because they are DJs or sometimes they're not even DJs they're just normal people yeah and it's important too yeah it could be your family yeah. it could be your brother it could be your friend. girlfriend yeah. it could be someone so it's important to know as an artist your source of inspiration True. and then you can grow from there and then uh, you should have the people that understand your financial needs because as mm. artists it's a very crucial Finances even is even more very, at the beginning. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, so people that understand your your financial mm. system true. and that understand the goal, the vision. Mm. So when you have a product, people that are willing, you should be able to have people that are going to support you from nothing to the point where you want to the point because there is step, other step, 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 step. step, step, step. step. For me, uh, we all want to make money. We all yeah. want to make a living out of it. Um, this is an industry where money should, it's important, at the very same, at, at, at the very same time, it's not important, it's not the thing to it's put. It's not the point, but so the if priority. you want to do it, you have to earn money. Yeah, it's you have to earn money. Yeah. So you, I think it's an industry based on systems. Yeah, true. So I what agree. I mean by systems, it's someone who generally likes what you do, who true. connects with you. True. It's art, finally. It's like everything, like painting. There is people who can say, "Oh, this painting is amazing. I want to do some things with it." Exactly. Or some somebody are just like you. It's like a painting, like every, like all uh, all other one. And also for artists, you might find that um, he's an amazing artist, but he's um, the people surrounding mm. the artist are not uplifting the, art, the artist. Yeah, man, that's the sad reality. Mm. But um, I think for for us as artists, you must always gravitate towards those that love and appreciate you. Clearly. Yeah, and feeling good with what you are doing, it's yeah. really important. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is. And then yeah, you move on, then you build from from that. Yeah. And thanks to share um, uh, to share your viewpoint with us. To yeah, and thanks for your music because it's amazing and thanks, I man. look forward to see you playing in a gigs in Switzerland and perhaps in other country too. Yeah so man, I should be in I should be in your town this June. Yeah, I don't oh. yeah, I should be in Geneva. Yeah. When? Um sometime in June. I don't have a date yet. Yeah. But um But let us know because I'm going to make a bit of promotion to Yeah, no, thanks for that appreciate to invite people to go to see you. Yeah. And so my next and last question is, uh, what's your plan for the future? What's I think my plan for the future is to keep doing what I what I'm doing, and stay focused and stay motivated. Because it's easier 
to to go left in the, in our industry. Mm, you can true. you can lose the love for for, for music. True. So I think that's priority. So my in, in the future I want to keep on doing this music thing that I uh, that you love that I love, and also create platforms mm. that allow for for growth and empowerment. For artists, for upcoming artists, or for an unknown artist, I wouldn't say upcoming artists, but I think for for people that I I happen to bump into through my journey. Yeah. So it doesn't matter whether they're up and coming yeah. or well established person, yeah. but I think I should. I want to be in a space where if we work together, we empower each other. Yeah. And that's we, powerful. We bring so, something. So finally, we can conclude in saying, as an artist, it's important to build your own system yeah even more if you want to stay independent and that's that's really powerful yeah and also you should be able to support and build one another yeah. sometimes it's your time to shine and yeah. we should be there for you true and, and other time is the it's my time yeah and it's my time i will be, you should be there for yeah. me that's and powerful. then we rock man that's yeah. really powerful yeah. So just to finish can you just say to the people where they can listen your music find you on social media all of that. So um, you can stream or buy my music on all digital platforms. It's Vanco, V A N C O, and on social media it's Vanco underscore S A. Same handle on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. It's V A N C O underscore S A. Perfect. Boom, boom, and I will put all the links in the yeah. description and even the email address to request for bookings. So. Do bro, can you say a last word in French for the people? Ah, uh, merci pour, uh, merci beaucoup. Uh, je t'aime, mon frère. Je t'aime, mon frère aussi. Yeah. Do. Merci, merci. Cool. <laughs>